These are the three components we need to make up a simple mould for pressing wet leather. This piece of wood has been shaped up nice and round. It's rounded on the edge as we can see there and been carefully shaped to give that there. Over here I have a baseboard and this is the part that will go on top when the leather's done. So the baseboard will be screwed in that position there, leaving a good space at the bottom for the leather when it's pressed. In this part here, the leather will be worked over the top and then this will be put over the top and the leather forced down and it will then be clamped with G-clamps. One on either side the leather will be left to dry. There's still work to be done on this because what we have here is this edge which we can see is very sharp and very rough has to be rounded because we can't bend the leather through 90 degrees we need a slight rounding on the edge there so I'm going to do that next. What we can see here is the roughness of the wood it's very sharp on the top edge here this needs to be nicely smoothed because any imperfections will show up on the wet leather. So I'm just taking a file and I'm just working it to smooth that out. Take out any imperfections there that we see. And I will then be sanding that edge. But the other thing I'll be doing is rounding this edge here because the leather will be bent round that corner. And for that I'll take a round file and I'll just take that off I want a nice rounded edge there and having done that I'll then work it with a bit of sandpaper just to get it all nice and smooth. Here's a tip on making moulds. If you're going to the trouble of making a mould, don't make it just for one article. Try and build flexibility into your mould. As we can see this is a very long mould but I'm going to use it firstly to make an article which is fairly small, a small pouch, about that length. But if I wanted to this mould is long enough to make a, a longer pouch or a very long pouch. You've got options in there and it's worth building that into any mould that you make. Here is the finished mould. The model has been screwed to the base plate as we can see. The underside of this part has been rounded and you saw me doing that. I've marked on it TWU this way up because we don't want to put it on the wrong way round. I've got the date and what it is, small pouch. And I finished it in a polyurethane that's been diluted with 10% turpentine um, just to seal it. So this is all ready to go and uh, we'll have to show you how to use it.